Hello guys, welcome to Tickets, episode 5 I think, I don't even know at this point. Oh, finally popped it, oh, let me get to a safe spot. Point, one. there you go. How did you get a, where the hell did you get a, where the hell did you get a keypad? Uh, a controller. Well, I do have a Sega. Well, you had Nintendo, I was a Sega kid. Yeah, I know, that's why I thought you'd want to do the intro on this one, but whatever. We're here to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. Which I had did that system, which is. You no actually have the game. You I have, have no the card. game. Yeah, well, here. Yeah, which one is this? Two. I never had the first one. Oh, this is two. Cool. It's an old school kid. I know, man. I'm cartridges. That's why, that's why, I know. That's what I'm saying. I got. I, I. Well, I don't have any game. I don't have any games that I could use for intros because most of the games. There's no Nintendo same. game yet. Well, there wasn't Mario, but no one talks about Mario. Well, who knows? They could always. Uh, Dated. And the Need for Speed, I do. I think I might have Need for Speed, but that was years ago, so we've already did that review, so forget it. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. so we're here to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, this is roughly. So yeah, this is what May tenth video game movie. Oh God, I don't even know. I don't even care. There's so many. And, yeah, it's there's so many movies. I mean, the problem is if you dig around far enough, you'll find that pretty much everything that Hollywood's put out is either a video game, a comic book, sports. Sports, yeah, either game. a comic book, a video game, a board game, or sports, or volleyball sports. What, what sport? What, what sport games did they put out? What sports movies? You love a basketball. Oh, a okay, I get, I get, yeah, okay, well, okay, but those are, those are more those are more like Definitely. historical dramas. But anyway, break. I digress. We're talking about Sonic the Hedgehog. Yep. So, what do you guys? What do you think about Sonic the Hedgehog? It was better than what I thought it would have been. Okay, given that's, the that's, fact that. It, they that, you assume, make, that, you're assume, that you're assuming it's bad, as bad as Cause the other Because like, you know, there are times that they try to make a game into a movie. Well, I, okay, let's talk about it actually from that point of view. Do you like the fact that they based the his real world, his home world, on the actual first level of Sonic the Hedgehog, the game? Or at least that's what I've read online that that's yeah. based on the, that at least one of that yeah it's ba it's level. based on the very first level of the very first game mm -hmm. of Sonic the Hedgehog yeah according to videos I've seen and other things I've read other game geeks yeah other game geeks I've read that said like things Easter eggs you didn't notice about Sonic the Hedgehog and that was one of them was that the name of the town is is a reference to to the location in the video game and that the actual location of of the first level the actual location that we start the movie in which is little with little kids with little kid sonic yeah is based on the very first level what, of sonic the hedgehog i is not you know i'm a what, totally manly men and stuff i thought little sonic little kid sonic was adorable oh my god yes but i, I think adult Sonic, i think teen sonic was pretty it's pretty teen is teen. we don't know how old teen well sonic. presumably we assume he's teen because we assume that yeah. he has to be like really small in the very beginning and we know that 10 years have passed yeah since that but time like, so at five. best at best if he was five then he's, he's 15. somewhere 15 yeah, yeah. At, you know if he's five in the first scene then he's 15 in the rest of the movie um, they, but, they, they did play it off well, and how? Yeah, how are you gonna get Sonic in in in, in Earth World? Right. Well, they made it, they made it like a small town called the uh, Green Green Hill Green Hill, yeah. which is the name of from a vi which is one of the levels in the video game, I believe. Um, the sign that he's playing uh, ping pong in yeah. is also supposed to reference to a level in the game. I think it's fun. Yeah, we're doing. We're charging out a lot of spoilers. In this yeah, movie. we gave up on spoiler alerts. If you're watching this, it's spoiler central because we really don't give a fuck about that. And if fuck gets me gets a, gets us banned from from YouTube, I'm okay with that too. Yeah, I'm sorry, kids, because this is technically. But you can't read us anyways. In, yeah, as long as we say it's kid friendly. This is kid friendly. Which sorry, we, say, we do we apologize for yeah. the swearing. Yeah, we did. I, I apologize for that. But, I don't feel like we sounding the whole thing. Yeah, me, me neither. So, um... No one's gonna nail us. It's like... No one's the gonna little references in movies... Now, so, I think how... The rings, the whole time, these rings that Sonic's been collecting in the video game... Oh, what is the rings? Well, we mean? always assumed that... Yeah, currency. we always assumed it was... Yeah, we always assumed it was currency, like they do in Monop... What they do in Mario, where it's like, oh, he's just picking up coins like he does in Mario. 
Which, you know, honestly, that's probably what it was. It probably was Sega going, we need to have a character like Mario, so they created Sonic. We need a character who has to collect some kind of currency. We can't call it. We can't do coins because that's Mario. So we'll do mm-hmm. rings. But I do like what they do with what they what they did to the rings yeah. and made the rings like a key made the key rings a key portals. a key yeah portal system, key portals a portal system. yeah portal system. I swear I thought he was gonna be running out of portal. Like, I did too. I really thought that like, and I also thought like, like I wanted the key. I wanted it to be like. He drops the bag at some point, and they like scatter across like a city or town, yeah, yeah. and he has to go find them. Because I'm like, I want him to run around town trying to, yeah, trying to find the dang rings. I wanted him to do that, but, but it didn't happen. They were no, scattered, but yeah, they scattered, but they're like on a table. They're like on, yeah, they're on like a flat on a flat surface, and all he had to do go and pick them all back up. The thing is, I was and then he drops them in the top of a building. I would have liked to like. see this. Might probably be nitpicking me okay. seeing him. Another planet besides Earth, because he was on the first well, planet. Because right. he, the, well, well here's the other planet. That's now. his world, right? That was, that was yeah, his, his first world. world. Yeah, then I want to see because seeing him crossing off other planets that he'd been to before going to Earth. Well, I think Earth. it makes it seem like, like I think that this the the thing that they, the map he's looking at is like a map that he his, his 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 uh, caretaker. Yeah. Created and said like, "Oh, you can't go to this world because it's too dangerous for you. Oh, you can't go to this world because it's too dangerous for you. So we're um, gonna send you to this world because it's it's a simple, it's easier. And when this, yeah. if this world becomes too dangerous, go to this world because this world has nothing but air and mushrooms, which yeah. he doesn't want. Yeah, I didn't think that. Way. I thought like, he, these are the plants he went to and he got. Was too- yeah, but see, they said ten years have passed since he jumps in the thing. Yeah. So unless you're saying thing. like he jumped planets for like. Most of his beginning of his life, yeah. but I mean the way that he's a little that, kid. You see a monster, you hold it running to talk a ring. Yeah, I guess. But I, I see. I think the I think I don't think he had the rings in the beginning. I think in the in the beginning, long, long claw had the rings. Yes, and that long claw gave her the gave him the rings and said gave him the bag of rings and said, go go get go get away before, the, yeah before the thing. And then the fact that there's. Easter eggs, and and one of the Easter eggs is on the kind of on the nose. Like what? Like Dr. Doctor Robotnik and what Sonic calls him with Egg Man. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I was going to Doctor Robotnik. Yeah. It has to be there because that's the name of the character from. Yeah, the, I'm saying, but coming, but coming Egghead is a oh, nice yeah, egg, egg, egg Man. Egg, egg Man, which is a nice like Easter egg. Well, that's because that's what he's supposed to be called in Japan. That's yeah. his actual name in Japan. His is Eggman. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't it, even Doctor Eggman. It was Eggman. Eggman, but the pun. No. Well, in this one they made a pun, but in the original... no, I did a pun. Like Easter eggs. Oh yeah, egg man. Okay, yeah. Pun, pun. Okay. Actually, you know where that comes from? It comes that term actually comes from uh, from uh, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's where Easter eggs apparently comes from. Because in Rocky Horror Picture Show, they hid Easter they hid Easter eggs. Actual Easter eggs. Yeah, they actually hid Easter eggs on the set and couldn't find them after they did it. So apparently there are they are Easter eggs scattered throughout the movie if you go look for them. Yeah, but that's where they come from. Most of the anyway, anyway, ones, not the not the actual. I, I don't know, but that's what I heard. I heard that there are actually Easter eggs in the movie, like literally, like colored Easter eggs in the movie. Probably real eggs. Yeah. But I find it really funny that like apparently if you watch the movie you can find Easter eggs. I don't know. That's what someone told me. Anyway, so what do you guys? What do you? I so, I would love to give it a five, but I, it's something. I, it's not five worthy, unfortunately. What what would, what do you think would have given you? Would have made you give it a five? I probably. And what do you think it doesn't have that you wish it did? I think the it, some parts just took too long and unnecessary. Okay, things. like what? But, like um, pretty much the whole fact of Doctor Robotnik. They're doing a little bit more of his. He sees the what's his name, one of his henchmen, constantly on him all the time. Okay, we get it. You don't like the guy. Oh, uh, Agent Stone. Agent Stone. Yeah, he likes Agent Stone. He just doesn't care much about people. People is it, okay. This, he likes them as hunch as henchmen, but nothing else. But I think some of it. But I did like I did like the general who says that man does not exist. Yeah. And they talk about him. They're like, there is no doc. There is no Doctor Robotnik. Yeah. 
You know, there's no general or botany. But I do give it a good four, though. Oh, absolutely. It's a good four. I will look forward to the release of the DVD or Blu-ray because I swear there has to be, like, a like a like an easter egg track or something because yeah. like this is the kind of movie where you need to bury you need to do a like fun fact tri- like fun fact uh thing thing because like it's so perfect it's like literally you could just hide like gold rings throughout the throughout yeah. the video and like when the gold ring pops up hit the button and you will get to watch you'll get to watch a video about the making of something or other yeah and if so studios guys- doesn't and if stu- and if the studio doesn't do that I feel they I feel they have missed a, a huge opportunity. But yeah. anyway, yes, so I agree with I agree with you. I don't think it's a 5. I don't think we've ever given a 5. We to very anything. rarely give a 5. I don't five. think we've ever given a, I mean, if we have, I don't remember it's, like it's when the last when's the last time we gave a 5 to a review. I don't know. It's a rare too. Yeah. All right. Well, 4 is not a bad place. Yeah. I think 4 is a pretty good review. And so the thing I is too, we're not like those old grumpy old men and someone like saying this deserves two or three half stars because there's a lot of movies that have got bad ratings and we thought we liked them. Yeah. So, anyway, that's the end of our yeah. review, I guess. So, see you in about 30 seconds. Also, when we, when who we knows? Make, when we make the next one. Yes. Yeah, so since I, we have to back, since we have to do two. Yeah, but real quick, I do believe how it ended, there might be a second one. Oh, I hope so. I, I, I hope they bring in, I hope they bring in, uh, I hope they bring in everybody. I hope they bring in Knuckles and Tails. Yeah. But and of course, bring back Doctor Robotnik because man, Jimmy Jim Jim Carrey's Doctor Robotnik was was awesome. Yes. Well, until next time. In about thirty seconds. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs>